Little Abby, she's uh, what, five months old, maybe six months old. And uh, she's been a pretty good little dog. Hello my friends, this is Ranger Rob and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. Yes sir, Bob. It's a sparkling day here in Central Oregon. Uh, been busy. Um, Central Oregon grown. Uh, I can't thank you guys enough for the support of trying Central Oregon grown. Uh, orders have been going smooth. Um, people have been uh, getting their products as quick as they have been ordering it. And, and uh, yeah, and so far everybody seems to be happy. And if they're happy, we're happy. So, uh, nothing like uh, Idaho pasture pigs. Their pork is so delicious, and we have comparable prices. And uh, yeah, so uh, give it a try if you get a chance. Our bacon's on sale still. Uh, I did have to get an order of, uh, uh, I have to do this every week, of feed. And as you guys know from my prior videos, I had a hernia surgery. So, uh, I'm not supposed to uh, be lifting over 10, 15 pounds. So uh, Sherry tonight will uh, get the tractor and stuff and we'll take uh, all this feed in the back. She's going to do all the heavy lifting. <laughs> a, little, a little humbling, <laughs> but uh, it is what it is. Uh, next week I have a uh, sister-in-law coming. She'll be staying in the uh, fifth wheel. And... Uh, uh, that's like the immaculate house, so she'll be real comfortable. Be nice to have her down here. Uh, also, we are um, just to inform you a little bit about Central Oregon Grown. We are uh, in uh, dialogue with uh, local Black Angus farmers, and uh, uh, so somewhere along the line, I think we may be adding beef to our our uh, site, but. Uh, uh, only when the conditions are just right and they're exactly the kind of uh, beef we want. Uh, so, uh, yeah, as time goes on, we'll tell you more. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> that'll be exciting. So, uh, anyway, uh, we were still on Piglet Watch this month. Uh, I don't know what the scenario is on our pigs, but uh, if they are indeed pregnant... <laughs> All indications say they're supposed to be. Um, if not, I've got two other uh, sows that'll be moving over to uh, our boar, and they'll give us uh, another chance at piglets in uh, January. So uh, yeah. Um, another thing I wanted to bring up is I'm, in, you know, I have cooking with Ranger Rob. I love to cook, and uh, one thing I haven't cooked yet is a pork steak. Um, so I pulled one out. Uh, so this, in the next few days, uh, I'm going to cook my first pork steak. And uh, um, I, I've seen a lot of recipes out there. And uh, so I'm anxious to try that. And of course, I, every time I get in there and I see pork chops, um, I'll be cooking pork chops this week too, because the Idaho pasture pig pork chops are over the top. Um, they're just so delicious. Um, and another thing is, if you're interested in you let me know in the comments below, I do have Idaho pasture pig uh, baby back ribs, but they're not on the site. Reason is, is our pigs aren't as big as the big commercial ones. You're not looking at 600 pound pigs. Um, I've cooked Idaho pasture pig uh, uh, ribs before. And they were over the top. They were so good, but they are smaller. Um, so um, if I put them on the site, um, I just need to let people know that uh, you might have to do like a double order or something. Because if you get a big family, uh, our ribs are smaller, but they're so delicious. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, if so, uh, I've got them. I just got to put them uh, on the site. And... Uh, I also have tenderlines too, so uh, I might 
might put some of those on there too but I like uh, I've never tried them yet so I always cook and do my own tryouts on anything we sell uh, to make sure that uh, I, I like them as much as I think our customers will like them so anyway let's move on let's go uh, visit the pigs and see uh, how they're doing it's uh, in the middle of the afternoon it's siesta time so uh, I'm just kind of checking to see if my girls are showing any signs of uh, of uh, being ready to have piglets um, so far it hasn't looked too good yet but anyway let's go take a look when I stopped by the uh, greenhouse real quick I uh, have been getting tomatoes lots of beautiful tomatoes come in uh, them down here and uh, what's really exciting is I'm starting to get my Cherokee purples that's these right here super super flavorful and uh, yeah so I'm looking forward we uh, were able to pull one the other day had it for dinner it was super super delicious and uh, yeah so uh, I can't believe how late my tomatoes were this year not really sure what the cause was um, it's like a Got one down there and uh, a whole bunch here. I do have Amish paste coming, but none of them are ripened yet. So, uh, uh, yeah, and it's, uh, those are all Amish paste. It's Amish paste here, too. And uh, yeah, looks like I'll get a, get a few, but. Not as many as I wanted to get this year. So, uh, it is what it is. So, uh, but yeah, I've had lots of, uh, tomatoes to give to, uh, well, for the family and to friends and to ourselves. And, uh, yeah. But can up, I'm just still shark, shocked just how late our uh, tomatoes were this year and uh, I gotta figure out what caused that I did get a little bit I got my plants in a little later than usual but uh, still but I'm gonna get a lot of tomatoes for but uh, I was hoping to have the uh, a large quantity ready uh, to sell a few on Central Oregon ground but uh, I don't know if that's going to happen or not, but anyway, there, <laughs> that's what's going on in the greenhouse. So this year, uh, been a little frustrating uh, due to the fact that I had hernia problems and stuff. All of our hydroponics over here, I, sh I didn't run this year. And uh, um, we kind of failed in the corn area. Um, just not a not the, the best year so we, we put most of our energy into the pigs and uh it was a good decision but uh uh sometimes i wished we had gotten some of the harvest we got last year uh strawberry has been really good sherry and i have been uh let's put it this way we've been uh <laughs> making a lot of strawberries and cheesecake desserts which is probably not good for <laughs> losing weight but uh oh there's penny hi penny so she's one of my pigs that were expecting piglets this month uh but she's still not showing the full signs of a uh, ready to deliver but we're gonna walk around and take a good look at the pigs and um, it's the, I'm always showing you doing feeding time. This is, like I said, siesta time, mid-afternoon. It's warm. Most of the pigs are taking good snoozes. And, uh, but we'll see if, uh, some of them come out. Uh, all that feed I showed you earlier will be filling up finally this new, uh, 55-gallon can of feed and uh keeping more feed back here so when we are moving feed it's all done at once 
and uh, a little easier on the, on the lifting. So uh, this uh, paddock right here is usually what we, uh, we had painting in here for a while, but this is where we, when we have to separate the boar from the other girls, which is not the case right now, he's using this big paddock and he's all alone in this big paddock. And uh, he's a pretty comfortable little pig, but uh, he's got some girlfriends coming pretty soon. Uh, unfortunately, all the girls back here, way in this paddock here, are all under a tree back there a ways, um, doing their siesta snooze time. Uh, the only one that's out right now is Penny. And that's uh, her right here. Hi, Penny. Hi, Penny. Are you ready to have piglets yet? Oh, come here. Come here, little girl. Show them how cute you are. You are a cute, cute pig. You are the cutest pig. Yes, I know. But she, uh, her belly's getting big and stuff, but she uh, hasn't really dropped yet. She's not, her uh, teats aren't really filling yet. And uh, her hind side will kind of show indications that she's ready. But uh, she is so cute. She's a, she's a four year old uh, sow. And she comes uh, originally from the East Coast. Uh, she brings a whole new line of heritage to our pigs. So we're, uh, she, she will be going in along with Zelda over here, with uh, Sparky, uh, probably within a month or so, so we can have January piglets. There she is. And uh, yeah, she's quite the character. She uh, is so much different than all the other pigs here, personality-wise, that uh, she's actually a real joy to have. So, uh, and uh, by the way, both of our paddocks here for the, uh, or shelters for the uh, piglets have security cameras. So if we get piglets, um, we'll be able to do some live uh, streaming feeds of the piglets. And, uh, but yeah, she's got, oh, she's swelling up a little bit. Um, but uh, she's probably due in the middle of the month or so of September. So uh, we'll see how that goes. But uh, I'm curious to see what kind of mama she is too. But uh, her uh, backside is uh, a little bit swelled up. So that's an indication that something might be happening soon. But uh, yeah, so it's kind of quiet time here. Uh, you know, we've processed all of our uh, feeder pigs and all that stuff. So, you know, we're working on the next generation. So, uh, like I said, uh, September ought to give us some more piglets, which will uh, determine what we need for uh, uh, this year's orders. Uh, Central Oregon Grown is uh, uh, picking up and makes us kind of worry about whether we have enough inventory, um, which is not a problem. It just kind of changes our plans of how we breed our pigs. So uh, we're looking at, I think, two rounds, one round like uh, end of uh, summer and another round around beginning of spring. And, uh, but yeah, now she's not a feeder pig. She's always a breeder. So she'll be around for a long time. Just like Sparky, he'll be around forever. Uh, we have Annie over here also, um, one of our breeders. And uh, so, uh, yeah, so those two, well, I have one there that's going to processing uh, next, this maybe this month uh, over at Butcher Boys. Uh, she'll be done in uh, USDA. She'll be available uh, in our uh, inventory soon. And uh, if Maggie, our big pig over here, doesn't take, unfortunately, it's probably time to uh, get her processed um, because she's <laughs> she's just too large. And uh, she's uh, taking a snooze in your wallow. Hi, yeah. ah, baby. <laughs> yeah, you're a good pig. 
Uh, so we may process her if she uh, does not show positive for piglets this year. Because um, that's the second try. She's just a humongous pig. And unfortunately, uh, she's uh, still a real young pig. And uh, would be delicious for uh, the freezer camp. But uh, uh, if she's not producing piglets, then uh, it's probably time to process her. So we'll see. But you, I don't think you ever take siestas. She's just a an, uh, a busy pig. So uh, anyway, that's the uh, uh, story with the uh, pigs lately. It seems kind of quiet, not real excitement. But when the piglets come, that's a whole new ball game. So enjoy the quietness now, but enjoy the cuteness later. So, uh, yeah. Uh, if you guys have any questions about our pigs, uh, let us know. Uh, we treat them good. They get lots of loving. Eat well. Keep a balanced diet. Never give them junk food. And uh, we watch their health closely. And uh, they live a good life and stress-free stress, stress -free life. So, uh, that's the important thing. That really is what makes good pork. Besides the fact that they're uh, Idaho pasture pigs. And uh, if you get a chance, look up uh, Idaho pasture pig registry. Uh, they'll tell you uh, all the unique qualities of uh, why these are such good pigs for, uh, and, and for farms and for uh, quality pork uh, for the freezer. So anyway, if you have any questions that you like us to ask, um, what we're doing in the future, like I said, uh, we're in the early stages of uh, getting ready to purchase some beef, and uh, all locally, and uh, we're real thrilled about that. So, all right, let's move on. Uh, the last video I did, uh, I did a little th take on a on Belle, and she had to go to vet, and she's doing really good. So she's. Nothing to panic there, Brett. I haven't talked about Abby much lately. Abby, Abby, hi. So uh, little Abby, she's uh, what, five months old, maybe six months old. And uh, she's been a pretty good little dog. She uh, she still gets excited, like jumps on people uh, and gets pretty excited when she sees people. And uh, also has a loose bladder when she does that. So we have to be careful. Um, but she has turned out to be a really good dog. She, uh, believe it or not, she has uh, uh, quite the ability to, uh, the, all the pigs like her. And so she's like nose to nose with all these pigs. And when we were trying to get uh, Zelda, our big old pig, uh, into the other paddock here, um, she was not being very cooperative. But when Abby showed up and... Uh, went nose to nose with her, kind of calmed her down and uh, made uh, Zelda easier to work with. But uh, yeah, she uh, she's turning out to be really good. She's a, a purebred a red golden. Uh, she's not you know going to be as big as the big goldens you guys are used to seeing, um, but she's got really pretty colors. It's hard to keep her clean because she's playing all the time. Um, uh, keep her on a good diet um, she works the whole property she's into everything as far as uh, uh, if there's some <laughs> unfortunately chickens and pig droppings and stuff like that it's so hard to keep the dogs out of that stuff but um, and uh, she's quite the roamer and sometimes I have selective hearing with her but uh She's turning out to be a great dog. As you know, uh, uh, we lost our chocolate lab uh, half a year ago. And uh, that was a real sad time in our life. But uh, she's definitely uh, filled the, uh, the void. And uh, she's going to be a, re a real contributor to the farm. Um, I think as she matures, we'll get her spaded uh, probably around Christmas time. Um, She's she's gonna turn out to be one heck of a great dog here. So yeah. So if you guys are wondering, I know you guys see her run out the door every day and stuff like that, but uh, 
she's a um, very calm dog, not real licky. She's not real cuddly dog. Um, but when she does cuddle or does want attention, um, it's, you know, when she's in the right mood for it and stuff. But, uh, uh, yeah, so she's uh, just a great dog for the farm. Well, guys, uh, all the pigs went, went back to bed. Uh, things are going pretty good. I got to say I'm very excited about how Central Oregon Grown's been going. Uh, I just talked to some more, uh, another breeder in uh, Redmond, Oregon, and uh, kind of making sure that we can keep our supplies up. Uh, we are looking at shipping, uh, like by mail and stuff, which is a very complex thing. I don't know how that's going to go, but looking into it. Uh, so uh, it's looking like we'll probably in the future support, oh, up to uh, the Mississippi in the United States where we can easily reach uh, two-day shipping uh packaging and all that stuff we're looking at we're only going to be doing that with subscriptions uh and uh yeah it's been exciting uh, sometimes i wonder i'm getting too old for this stuff <laughs> it's like i'm supposed to be retired and watching oprah but uh yeah anyway it has been exciting very happy Happy for our clients that get our products. Happy that uh, we're creating a successful business, which uh, who knows, my kids may inherit. Those my poor kids. Can you imagine be, being one of our kids? You inherit a meat business, pigs, and poopy bags. <laughs> my poor kids. <laughs> but uh, you know, with this day and age, times are changing. And uh, this is our way to make local food available to people. Uh, and pork is much more affordable than beef. We will have beef, but uh, uh, people are looking at different alternatives to find out what's good for their families and what's good for their budgets. And uh, pork is a good way to go. It's an affordable uh, a commodity for people. So uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you very much for the support. Uh, I urge you to try out our uh, 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 getting some pork online with us. Very simple process. Uh, if you have any questions, I miss or uh, uh, go to the site and give us a, a message and uh, we'll explain everything to you. Uh, it's a good, good alternative to uh, what we're buying in the stores. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap it up right here. I'm so grateful, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Have a great day, and uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Talk to you later. Bye. This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available on Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.